What's going on YouTube? Back again with another video. In this video, we're going to be trying reviewing this Milwaukee top-off tool that y'all probably seen online and stuff like that. So I'm not, like I said, I am not sponsored by them. I just decided to pick this up and put it to the ultimate test. Comment down below what y'all would like me to see me try on it. I'm going to try some stuff that I have and maybe some tools we're going to be trying out with this stuff. Like I said, comment down below what y'all would like to try out with this. If it works, I'll try it. If I have it, I'll try it. If I don't, well, I'll see what I can do. But I'm going to be putting this to the ultimate test and see what we can get use out of this. Like I said, so pretty good little handy little tool. So let's get to it and start testing and see what we can do and what we can stuff we can power up. So yeah, stay tuned. I got my little dog right here, Ollie. But let's go ahead and put it to the test and we'll go from there. So we're gonna put it to the test. The first test we're gonna be putting it to is a hot glue gun. So I'm gonna put it on. Make sure it's on there. And it is powering it now. So just gotta wait for this thing to heat up and we'll be good so for now I'm gonna pour it on here just to see if it does work so it's gonna take a little while for now I'll let it heat up and we'll pick it up once it starts gluing so stay tuned so right now like I said it's still powering it as you can see as you can see it is powering it and right now we're gonna see so the glue gun works for this test uh we'll see what we put on for the first test we're not gonna be too crazy but we're gonna try something out so next we're gonna go to a phone chargers those are simple those are your normal things that you would use glue gun if you go anywhere you're more than free to use a glue gun so as you can see this one passed and we'll see what you do next so right here we got the tool again first one for the plug we're gonna be using a I could say a little razor blade it is dead right now as you can see barely moving so we got this plugged in we're gonna be plugging it in we got my GoPro uh, batteries and we're gonna be plugging in to the USB then we got a my other phone that it's the C-type charger we're gonna be plugging in the three and yes you can use the three at the same time it's just gonna drain your battery a lot faster but if you want to run them three you're more than happy to use them so for now we're gonna start plugging this one in then start using the other one so for now let me go ahead and plug this one charge that one as you can see it is charging and it does have a fan right here that cools it down so it won't get hot so right here we're gonna plug in our GoPro batteries just like that then turn it on and as you can see they are charging then we're gonna get our C type charger and hook that up too As you can see, it is charging the three of them. So we got this one, we got the phone that's charging, and we got the GoPro two batteries charging at the same time. So we got three devices charging at the same time. As you can see, this device is gonna come really handy. So as you can see, it is charging it. But like I said, it's I recommend this tool, like for me, since I go I like recording and stuff. I am gonna have this with me all times. I could use the small batteries too. It just it doesn't get them, but it does. It just the bigger the battery, the more life you're gonna have, and the more charge you're gonna have. Depending what you're using it for. Like for me, I want to review this. I got this tool to review it, but it is gonna help me in the long run since I like recording and my batteries are always dying. Now that I got this handy little tool, I don't gotta worry about that. As long as I have the battery charge. I don't gotta worry about the 
if I have a charger or anything, I have this little tool with me all the time and boom, it is charging it. Not just that, I could charge three devices or a wall outlet, but like I said, we're getting this tool to put in it to the test, see what it could do, see what it cannot do, ups and downs, fails. Like I said, I'm willing to try. The next thing we're gonna be trying is a, a flashlight, a plug-in one that's rated for a lot of watts. So we're gonna go ahead and try it next. So y'all stay tuned. And like I said, still charging these devices. It's ready at 15. I just barely plugged in, it was what, like at 13. So like I said, so I recommend this tool, like I said, if you're camping anywhere, I definitely recommend it. Take it with you anywhere, whatever you wanna use it for. But right here, we are testing it to see what it can do. Like I said, next one, flashlight. So right here, we got a lamp. That's what I would recommend it. Uh, we'll name it lamp right here. So we're gonna go ahead, plug it in. Uh, I'm not sure if I have it on here. If I do, it'll power it. And boom, as you can see, bright, definitely bright. Remember, if you're going somewhere, you can take a lamp with you, and boom, you got all kinds of light. So, you got a light, you can use it anywhere, working on a car, whatever it is. This baby will power it up, Milwaukee top off tool. That is the battery I'm running, and you gotta remember, this thing already is hot already, and you can see it's starting to attract bugs. So we're gonna go ahead and shut the baby off. Boom! Just like that, it powers the lamp on. Uh, not sure how long it powers it, but it powers it. That's the most important thing. So let's see what else it could power. We'll go from there. So right here, we're gonna be trying this thing. It's to boil hot water. Let's see if it powers it up. So right here, it is powering it, but we still gotta turn it on. Fortunately, it doesn't have enough juice to power it. So that one is a fail, but we are here trying it to put it to a test. So we know that's a good thing, just in case y'all wanted to know what works and what doesn't. Now you know this one doesn't work, so let's move on to the next one. So right here, we got it hooked up to a shredder. See if it will power it up. And it did the trick. Powering the shredder, no problem. So right now we're gonna try uh, powering another battery. Got a battery over here, 18 amp. So we're gonna be powering it. So you can hear the fans kick in. And this battery is already charged, but as you can see, it will charge another battery. It doesn't have to be specifically this band. I, I seen a video where they tried it and charged a uh, D watt and other batteries even bigger batteries I am gonna be trying it with other stuff for now this is the only things that I'm trying in this video so comment down what else you would like me to try uh, like I said it is powering it right now turn it off or turn it off so just like that uh, we got that powering so here in a bit I'll try some other stuff and then y'all know how it goes so right now we did try some other stuff uh some other stuff didn't work uh so we tried a uh, air fryer that didn't power it we tried a waffle one that didn't power it and we also tried a toaster it didn't power those three uh i seen a video where they supposedly say they ran a crock pot for two hours i don't know how true that is uh maybe i'm gonna have to try it in the next video but like I said, I tried those three things, it didn't work. Uh, we tried the, the hot glue gun, that one worked. We tried powering another battery, that works. Uh, you can power a TV, haven't done it yet, but I know you can. I seen a video where you powered it. Uh, we tried a shredder, that worked. 
uh, we tried a uh, lamp that worked so of course you could charge your phones small stuff like that but we're gonna try some other stuff like powering a bigger battery see if that works for the next video comment down below what y'all would like me to try we also tried a compressor a small compressor that didn't get it going so uh, it also got a little feature right here got this little triangle so if it if it starts flashing that it's not gonna power it so at least it gives us an idea what it's gonna power and what's not gonna power so that gives us the green light no light so comment down below what y'all would like me to try next on this video like I said I bought it to test it and it is gonna be handy for me since I charge a lot of stuff and if I'm out and about I could always use it I charge some other batteries depending what it is but comment down below I'm here to try it on anything see what it works on what it doesn't so y'all stay tuned and we'll see what we got to test out next in the next one but that's all I got in this video and I definitely recommend this tool depending what you're trying to use it for like I said I'm here to test it so comment down below please like share and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one and thanks to Milwaukee uh, making some good tools but we'll catch you in the next one Peace.